all right so let's uh let's jump in uh and then uh and, and get going so the goal here uh this is all part of the uh bookmap academy and the process here uh so the uh if i bring up the academy page here Uh, this is what uh, the process is just so anyone that uh, is interested in uh, this then um, you know this this is the program uh, so that start we'll start off with the intro here what is this book map academy uh, and um, uh, how to join it and then the process uh, so it's a it's an onboarding uh, for you uh, any trader here that is interested uh, to uh, elevate their skills uh, and then also potentially get book map for for free uh, and then it's a, an, an on-ramp here to become uh, a much uh, better trader or professional trader. So how do you join? How do you start? First, you apply. Uh, it's a filter. Uh, so you have to apply for the Junior Academy, and that's what uh, applicants do. Uh, so this is for the Academy applicants in here. Uh, and um, uh, you will uh, uh, apply for it uh, by scrolling down to the bottom of the page here and applying. Uh, that's it. Uh, and then, uh, then you'll need to reach out on Discord uh, and uh, uh, request a spreadsheet. Uh, once you do that, then I can give it to you and you can start recording your, your process. And I'll go over that in just a minute as well. Uh, but uh, once you apply, you start creating content uh, and uh, we take a look at it. Uh, and uh, we go through it and uh, see how you're doing uh, as a trader uh, and uh, give, give you some feedback. Uh, as well as, you know, you have the events here in Discord. You have everything here in Discord uh, to check out so uh, and get feedback uh, to elevate your skills. It's all about the community here and making you a better trader. Uh, so basically, uh, the relationship here is um, uh, pretty straightforward. So we're offering this, uh, and uh, we appreciate the uh, content uh, and, uh, and your feedback. Uh, and we're willing to also uh, help you. Uh, with that and for your help and your thanks uh, we will uh, we can give you bookmap uh, for free uh, if you graduate to the Academy so first you apply uh, if you make the cut there uh, you can apply again or you know you stay in the loop as you like uh, but you need to go to bookmap junior Academy uh, once you're in the Academy uh, there's a quota uh, and threshold to make you just we're just asking for one piece of content per day uh, and then uh, you create that content you document it so we can check it out in the spreadsheet uh, and then basically uh, uh, if you make that quota of one per day at minimum uh, and the content is high okay so uh, you're not trying to impress me you're trying to help yourself uh, and uh, that's the goal here Driving. Okay. So, so uh, hold on a minute here. Uh, I'm going to mute some of you guys. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So uh, anyway, uh, once you um, uh, pass that threshold, you will be invited to Bookmap Academy. That's where you can get Bookmap for free. Uh, if you double your quota, uh, you can also get the MBO bundle here for free. Uh, so you'll be creating high quality content at this point, uh, and you will need to earn it every month. Uh, so it's not that you, you made it here and you're done. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's an on, ongoing process here. Uh, document your trades, uh, your trading activity, document your order flow, become much better here. Then uh, we're happy to, to give you a uh, book map for free. Okay, so that's step two. Uh, there's more to the process here. Uh, and this is what we're doing right now is the coaching. So here uh, you can become a coach. If you get really good uh, at documenting your trades here in step two uh, in the book map academy, uh, well, then you can turn around and help others here in step one in the junior academy. Give them feedback, help these uh, uh oncoming or uh, up, upcoming traders uh, uh, get better here. Uh, and then your trading is going to get better too by coaching. When you teach, uh, you have to be more precise with your, um, your content. You have to think about it. Uh, you have to become much better. 
uh, and um, uh, that will help your trading and clarify what you do as well. Uh, if you uh, make it to this level here, you can also get data for free, market data. All right, so you'll get everything you got before plus market data, but you still need to earn it every month. All right, so you still continue to be in the process here. Uh, and if you do really well with the coaching here, well then let's let's uh, reach the masses, and you can you can become a bookmap streamer. All right, at this point here. Uh, then you, you'll not only get uh, your data for free, but uh, there'll be other incentives in here uh, to, to uh, uh, obtain. Uh, plus, you'll be getting uh, uh, notoriety in, in the streaming uh, and um, et cetera. Uh, so uh, you will continue to need to earn it here as well. Uh, but uh, this is what Tom, uh, Tom B., uh, Doug Pless, uh, and Moby, uh, they're at these levels here. All right, so uh, at this level here, uh, this is kind of a new step that we've introduced. We have uh, Jack, uh, who is a coach. Uh, we also have Slowdown. Uh, today, it's just going to be uh, me and Jack, and we're going to go through some trades for you guys. Uh, and then uh, we'll uh, uh, give some feedback and have a, have a bit of discussion between uh, the, the, the two coaches, uh, or yeah, between Jack and myself. And then, like I said, Froth, we'll, we'll see about uh, if, if we can... Um, uh, add uh, in a, an open mic uh, and get some feedback. I, I want to keep this meeting kind of short right now, uh, about 45 minutes. So, you know, we've probably got about another 35 minutes here. And uh, I'm going to give the floor to Jack. Jack, share your screen. Uh, and then let me um, uh, pop out the presentation here so that I can get this in the recording. There you go. Excellent. If you guys don't know who Jack is, he's, he was a winner of a Blue Jacket Academy. That's another route uh, into the Bookmap Junior Academy. Uh, and then uh, he um, uh, uh, has, has shown uh, just, you know, a, a, a ton of uh, trading prowess. And uh, he's, he's been trading for uh, over 10 years and uh, has um, uh, really shown a lot of um, uh, chutzpah for this program so it, it's like uh, great you know become a become a coach here uh, and uh, he was he was game uh, we also have slowdown uh, he will be presenting next time uh, but uh, uh, Jack why don't you take it away uh, talk about the uh, applicants here uh, that uh, you're you're covering and um, uh, what what you saw and give some feedback here sounds great thanks Bruce um, just a little little Tidbit note: it, It's just under ten years technically. It turns ten years around uh, October. That's the ten-year anniversary for me. So uh, I don't like to oversell qualifications too much about those kinds of things. So I just wanted to clarify that. So coming into this, um, we had two really good applicants coming in, and I really wanted to highlight something from each of them. Um, I'm going to start off with CMJ. He's he's in the Discord right now. You can hear him. Um, and then I had one side example. Um, that I wanted to do as well <clears throat> that kind of just really encapsulates trading in general and how you have to have a dynamic mindset. So kind of going into CMJ's trade here, this is a, a volume profile style trade from the IB continuation. Essentially, you're looking, if you migrate through an uh, initial balance level, you're looking to continue that momentum. It's a momentum style trade. This is really popular in the uh, streaming lab with uh, Tom B., and you can see those, those notations in their pinned uh, document there. But this is a continuation of that trade. And I want to highlight a couple of really great points that we're looking at here. And as you can see, he's got the pullback to VWAP right here in blue. And his entry is right here in purple. And that purple triangle signals in the book map where you're making entry if you're making a real-time trading entry. Even simulated, it does the same thing. Um, he's, he's looking here, but what I want to highlight here specifically is where he's scaling out. Um, and you can see that he's scaling out at a target location for where volume is sitting in the passive order book. This is amazing. And generally, a lot of traders will enter a trade and they'll have one target profit. And if they either make it or they don't make it. What CMJ shows here is you can use the order book and the passive order book within Bookmap to see a good target location, take some risk off the table, and essentially maybe mitigate some of that risk by moving in your stop loss or your take profit. Also in this, he notes the VPOC migration down 
which is another bearish signal for him. So he's continuing his trade at this point. That's mentally probably what's going on in his, his trading process. And as you can see, he gets the move exactly the way he wants to. And what does he do? He exits again in front of liquidity just slightly. This is a fantastic trade. Um, he could have done it in two ways. He could have exited here. He chose to exit at the larger liquidity level. Both are fantastic opportunities. Um, and, and this really highlights a great pattern to look for, a great trading style to look for. He's watching the order flow and he's watching it in the direction of his bias already. Um, he's provided several examples of these concepts and you can see those in the Blue Jacket channel. Most of his entries are featured there. And I, I, I notated that down here, but also he posts a lot of these on Twitter. So if you do have a Twitter account still, I recommend you go follow him. I comment on his stuff when he posts it. He comments on my stuff when, when I post things. It's great. Um, it, it's great to go out there and support people. And if you don't want to come to the Discord channel all the time and look at stuff, you can always just doom scroll Twitter and see some stuff that he posts there. So that's, uh, that's one of the better trades that I really liked there um, from him. And he actually liked the IB continuation trade too. That was his, uh, his suggestion for showing an example. The one I chose to highlight in extra of the other of the two is this one right here. And this is also from CMJ. And this is something that traders struggle with a lot. And that's why I wanted to highlight it is because fear of missing a move can be detrimental. But there's a couple of things that CMJ does here that are really, really great. One is he places his stop right here. He knows that if it breaks that liquidity area, that's, that's a clear signal that his trade logic is invalidated, that his bullish bias in this case is invalidated. Get out of the trade. Don't hold on to a loser for a long period of time, especially in a leveraged product like the futures. If he'd have held that for a couple of more points, that's now hundreds of dollars of loss as opposed to the smaller loss that he took here. This is a fantastic opportunity. Um, not only does he do that, but part of this process of being in an academy applicant is to learn journaling and to improve your journaling as a whole. CMJ has done something that's unique. He actually takes his trades and he posts them in a Notion, uh, a Notion uh, platform as well, which is essentially like a, a narrative style platform where you can post what you were thinking, why you were thinking, things like that. I do this in my own journaling. Um, so him doing it as well, it just further cements those things. If you want to improve your trading, journaling is the key. You need to know what you did and why you did it. And I can still go back all the way back to years from years from now and, and see the trades that I make. And, and I have them all categorized and all listed. Um, journaling is incredibly important. And CMJ does a great job here. Um, so you can see that in the in the Discord channel if you want to go take a look at that. Um, if you have any questions or can't find it, just ping me and I'll, I'll show it to you. Um, and then real briefly, I want to go over Froth's trade. Froth, his request, uh, when I asked him if he had a, a request for a specific trade, he liked this one. And one of the things that he liked about this trade is he and I took the same trade at completely separate times, which, well, it was the same time, but we were not paying attention to each other. We were just doing our own trading. And uh, he was looking at it from a completely different perspective than I was looking at it. But you can see how you don't need the same techniques. You can use all kinds of different tools to get to the same location. And this is a great conceptual trade. This type of trade, is a, it's a trading pattern that I particularly look for. I call it the, the, the royalty crown pattern because you get kind of this crown showing up and it looks kind of like the Burger King King crown. And it's, it's a reversal pattern that I, I like to look for. Um, in this particular instance, his bias was already short. And you can see that in his Thinkorswim platform over here. This is the NQ chart. He also was looking at treasury yields, 10-year yields, I believe, on this day, if I remember correctly. And he's looking at it to hit the previous highs and then reject lower. So that's his trade bias coming into it. and. It's incredibly important here is that one, he has a mental direction already. Now, sometimes the day starts and you throw the plane out the window, but it's important that you you do your back testing, that you figure out the things that, that are going to make your trades better as a whole and you get your direction or you have an opinion. 
That way, if you see something you like, you can act on it quickly and in a timely manner. And then you can adjust as needed if that's if that becomes the case. He does get his uh, continuation here into the downside, gets a great move trading, trading lower, and he notates, again, trapped buyers, um, and he can see the delta from the session volume profile. He can see that um, we are in a decreasing manner. There were a lot of buyers there. There are people who are potentially trapped in that location who may have to sell their position and then fuel a further down move. Sure enough, we did get a further down move on that day, and I believe we did hit uh, the the opening range mid, which was my target uh, coming in there. Um, this is a great example from Froth. I really liked it, um, not just because it, it was a similar trade to what I took, but he highlighted something really important, and it's you don't need to follow the same exact things. Everybody trades a little differently, but when you're both on the right side of things, clearly you guys are making a good trade, and that's, that's a huge, huge benefit. Um, to this learning process. And um, it's, it's really the reason why in order to get into Bookmap Academy, journaling is the forefront. Practice, record what you're doing and kind of annotate and iterate through your process. And it, it really highlights a lot of the things. And these two did the best job I've seen of honestly just about anyone so far. So um, that's why I wanted to highlight these two, and I, I really thank both of you for your entries and your uh, your setups. It was great, and that's basically what I have, Bruce. I don't want to keep people here too long today. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I wanted to comment on this one uh, for a, num a number of reasons. Um, yeah. Uh, first off, like it, the, there's a simplicity and clarity uh, to to the image. Uh, yeah. And uh, I mean, there's only a few things documented on here. But it's extremely clear, mm -hmm. uh, and um, there there are actually um, uh, a few things to uh, actually. Uh, we'll open the mic, Froth. Uh, let, let's do that with you. Um, uh, in fact, let me let me do that now, um, and uh, uh, let's let's get some feedback. So we're we're, we're making this up on the fly here. Um, but uh, so I, I had a few questions for you, uh, Froth. Um, the um, uh, so on the on the move back up, I mean this is it's beautiful absorption, uh, no no question about it. Uh, it's it's great, right into it, uh, and uh, and there's a lot of pushing underneath though, uh, with high liquidity at higher levels. So it, that that eight o'clock right there, um, it, what what time frame or what time zone are you in? I'm in Pacific. Pacific. Okay. So uh, this was eleven o'clock then, uh, East Coast time, right? Yes. Okay. Um, because uh, that's kind of an odd time to see like a, a really strong move like this. Um, if you look over on your um, higher time frame chart, um, let's see uh, over over here. Like, what is uh, what was this um, uh, the open here an opening drive to the upside here? On that day, yes, it was. Yeah. Okay, okay. So so then uh, so then what you've got here is your higher time frame. You've got your double top up there, or even, or triple top, basically. Uh, and, um, and, and you took, you didn't take the first one here by the pink line, did you, um, with the arrow on the, on the right, or, or did you take the second one? Is it the second one that you took? The first one there happened at basically 6 a.m. his time. I don't, I don't think he starts trading until 8, 8.30. Okay, so. Uh, that's what we're looking at is the first, it's essentially this first retest of that. This one here. Uh, high of day from the previous day. It's where that pink arrow is pointing. Got you. In image one. Got you. Okay. Think of swim chart. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. All right. So, um, the 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 only the only comment I have on here is um uh just like uh about um controlling risk and and opening drives like uh you do have the absorption no no question uh you do also really nicely identify the trap Th this I really like um. Uh, the and I do also like that they pulled uh, here uh, underneath. You know, you can start to see them pulling here, right? Uh, and uh, uh, and just kind of stepping aside. Uh, what would scare me, and it's just personal, right? Because you did a great job here. Um, but what would scare me is all this momentum uh, in the. Uh, there's a lot of buying in here, uh, and it's a pretty strong opening drive. So I'm I wouldn't be sure if they're going to break the top here or not. That uh, that's not the that's not the opening drive right there. The um, if I remember correctly, that's at 
that's a little after the opening draft. That's after the initial balance and everything as well. Okay, so what what it, this is a this is a fifteen minute chart on on the right, right? Yeah, that's almost eleven a.m. market time at that point where where it hits the top. So okay. we're going into the lunch period. Okay, so I mean, I'm not sure where. I mean, I imagine somewhere down here is the open. That that's his open, yeah. Yeah. So okay. it is it is a strong move from the open. Yeah. Um, but it, it was at this particular day. I remember this day really well. Actually, uh, it was stalling, and I had a very short bias on the high as well. Okay. Okay. We also um, had, I think the key distinction here is like, we're, we're analyzing the ES closely, but we're looking at the NQ chart yeah. and the NQ was, yeah. was really, I think the one that was pumping higher and it was, is hitting more of a defined potential resistance area. And you can and see so that, that in was the sort of here. bias of like, if the NQ is the stronger equity here, the stronger index looking for signs of a potential failure there to drive the ES lower. Yeah, because yeah, if the ES isn't following in, in correlation strong enough, when EQ when NQ falls, you're gonna get the you're gonna get the snapback from ES as well. And it's just gonna rally into each other. And you can you can see that the NQ on bookmap for me here is this blue dash line. And you can see exactly what Froth just mentioned, this really sharp move once it started to fade there. And I'll remove that now so you can look at it. And uh, you can actually see uh, in this box here on the bottom right, um, there's a sweep there. So something that a lot of market makers or dealers will do is if their positions in one instrument are being tested, they might use another instrument to offset some of those deltas. And you can see that that's potentially what they did here um, with a large, a large sweep that's 433 contracts very quickly. Um, so... That, that's kind of what Froth is mentioning. It was yeah. going right into that resistance point. Uh, I remember this day very, very vividly, and I was looking very short um, off off the rip once we got the, the settlement. I was looking to come back to the opening. Yeah, I mean, you know, so that that's a really, it's a, it's a really great point uh, in here that, um, because uh, it, it, I didn't know that you were looking at the NQ uh, Froth, but, you know, this is part of your, trading style is you're, you're looking at correlated markets um, and uh, that that makes this even much much stronger he was also looking at 10-year yields too if i remember that day i was looking at um the bear steepener not the 10-year yield itself as well as the, the esnq i i cheat though i utilize the correlation tracker within bookmap to keep up with nq and i have the market pull stuff it just keeps me from having to bounce around my my TLS charts so much, but yeah. everybody does things slightly different. He's he's clear. He's he's got a great great job here. Um, he also uses VIX a lot too, and uh, I think that a lot of traders don't necessarily do that very much. Well, let, let, I mean, Froth, 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 you you got the open mic. I mean, you you tell us. Yeah, I certainly I use the VIX. I've been using the yields more lately as we've seen elevated levels, uh -huh. uh, because it has been a good. For me, it's been a good thing to set the foundation for the day and kind of uh, uh, align my bias um, prior to seeing the intraday order flow so that I can approach the day um, with either cautionary things in mind, like if I see elevated yields and that's applying downward pressure and potential weakness on the market, but the market is rallying, that might give me some pause or some caution if I see a potential long setup but I'm seeing these other correlated markets and indicators that are counter to that thesis. That's going to give me a little bit of caution uh, when potentially taking and putting risk on taking the trade. Yeah, yeah. And this is an interesting time frame. Again, um, you'll hear it a lot if you listen to a lot of the talking head stuff, bonds leads markets, and that's kind of what Foss is mentioning here. If yields are carrying higher, we would expect some reaction in the equities market, and the reaction we're getting here is counterintuitive. So one of the two is likely going to to give up at some point. Um, so yeah, it, and and you, that doesn't mean you necessarily need to be short though. You could still take a long, but what he's what he's kind of saying is that don't stay in the long if it starts working against you, or look for maybe a shorter duration trade, something very quick scalping wise. Yeah, I I have another question, uh, Froth, for you because like what I I really like the clarity here. In the book sweep and the, and the uh, trap volume, uh, that's that's just excellent. Um, and it it 
what it makes me think th is that this move here, right, um, is uh, extremely toxic. I mean, this is a larger player saying, like, anyone up here, sorry. You know, there was a nice drive up there, but, uh, you know, we're, we're moving the market. Uh, now, what's funny about that, though, and this is what I'm curious, because uh, I don't, I didn't, I don't remember this day. Um, uh, but you know, on your higher time frame chart over here, it it spiked one more above, once once more above here. Um, so, true, yeah. so so I'm wondering if you saw it looks like it. If I look at your your chart over here, this red candle right here, and then this red candle right here. Um, look at look at the strength of those moves. To me, it looks exactly like the same player that moved it here. Did you see that behavior again over here by the by uh, you know this this kind of sweep here that I'm, we're talking about? Did you see it over here? I cannot recall what the price action was like later in the day. Mm. There was there was sweeps there. This uh, this particular individual, uh, he was sweeping this general location multiple times throughout the day. Okay. Like, but it could have been because, again, that hedging flow. Just because somebody's entering a sweep, we don't necessarily know like if they're doing it just from the ES perspective or if they're using some sort of correlation. Um, but the, he did enter the, the market several times throughout that day at that particular price point. One of the issues that I had with the trade uh, when I was looking at it, and you can kind of see it in my chart here when I took the, the screenshot, it's that we kind of bounce into the VWAP area. Um, and then we get that consolidation. You can see the white line for VWAP. Um, but we ended up breaking it, and then we get a, we essentially get, you can see the bounce off of it right here, that the resistance, the VWAP resistance, essentially, to continue that moves lower. Um, I had my finger on, on the trigger ready to just flatten the trade because of that right there. Mm. Just because, again, like you mentioned, we, we did have a strong up move. So even though my, my bias was bearish um, and then frost bias is bearish, don't hold your trades if you don't need to, like if you don't like them. So yeah, yeah, I, it's um, uh, I I guess I'm just alluding to the point here. Like I mean, re really nice. I mean, really strong momentum into this level up here, and and this if if this is a larger player here, uh, with really kind of you know uh, has the the power and and you know to to create such a move, and then it looks like they defended it over here again. Uh, and I, that's why that's why I was kind of curious about if you saw that, and and that's another thing that I just want to mention here. Like that's what it's it's nice about the software here. Is you can see that, right? You you can you can look for that behavior again. Uh, that that's that's kind of my where I was uh, going with this. Yeah, it's great. Um, the the one thing that I've noticed kind of in this more recent time frame where this was taken is, uh, and you can see it in his his TLS chart. It's the Overnight, you'll get a down move, and then as we start to enter the EU time frame, you might get a little bit of a reaction backwards, and then once markets open, you'll get a retracement of potentially where that move was, but then end of day, you, you're kind of in the same area. Um, and on this particular time frame, I think this was on the, the 5th, it was the beginning of this month, um, we could see a lot of this kind of like similar stuff, like we would we would go back to where we opened or closed if we had a large move in the ETH hours. Um, yeah. So it, it, it was great. This is a great trade. This is a really good, um, there's a lot of small nuance here that, that that's really good for book map. You can see, you saw that you talked about the absorption, but you can also see um, no aggression following through here. Um, and, and you can see that in these red stripes. And then you get this strong push back but nobody's there to follow through. So you get this consolidating pattern, which is great. And then you get the push down, but then there's nobody here. So it's it's great to see. There's a lot of great things in this image. Um, honestly, I could talk about this image for a long time if we, if we stuck on it. Too. Yeah, we, so, we, we got to move yeah. on. We got to move yeah. on. I don't want to hold people too long. The, the goal was yep. to be 45 minutes long here. Uh, and we I spent... think your three trades are next. Yeah, yeah. So so uh, let, let me, um, I think I'll I'll take over here. Uh, and uh, let's go over um, some other trades. Uh, Once again, CMJ Froth, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Those are great, great setups to, to show. Yeah, yeah, good work. Uh, guys, just in general, like th this is our first meeting. Um, so the goal is to give feedback on, um, and, you know, people's uh, imagery here. 
maybe we spend too much time on one trade here, but that's okay. I mean, like the, the goal here is to, uh, 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 you know, show that um, uh, you have, um, you can learn something from it. And uh, so I covered uh, here, um, uh, let's see, can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. So I covered in here, um, Stevens, I wanted to, I wanted to um, uh, cover uh, Steven first. He's been working really hard. Uh, he's been attending lots of webinars, uh, and I know he's in here as well. Uh, and uh, we can open the mic for you, Stephen, if you like as well. Um, the um, uh, one of the things that I wanted to comment here on, uh, in, and I, I did in the spreadsheet. Um, this was, you know, back in in July uh, that you you posted this is like a clarity, like that froth image uh, before, like. Um, I mean, this. Why I'm I'm covering this here is I I just look, I it is really good exercise to document things that you see on the chart. It's a great thing to do. It helps you so much uh, understand some of these things. Um, it might be a little much. Uh, it's it's uh, that would be and and why I'm mentioning this here is um, to kind of focus uh, now since you you've got a breadth here of uh, lots of data, um, now start to determine what works for you uh, and kind of focus in on it. Uh, and then you can start looking for setups and trades and starting to trade it um, and, uh, and and building a plan from it. Uh, this is, um, it's a lot of work. Uh, and what I'm trying to help with here in this image uh, is to um, reduce that and focus that. Uh, into a few things. It might be like outside the range here. I know you're. I know you're watching, Tom. This is too low. You know, too high. You know, back into the mean. Whatever it might be in the auction process. Uh, however, um, you know, you could clarify a lot of things in here and just look at that. And then the question is though, like on this in this this move here, uh, is that? Uh, here, let me get the pen. Um, is this area in here now we can add in a few more things uh and uh if, if now there's a lot of ifs in here is it too low right well we know from hindsight that it came back up so yeah it is uh however you know talking about trap traders uh and then also looking for the buyers to come in on the other side so we need that uh and uh, this could be a, a trading plan in itself just a very simple like outside of the range going the trend is up in in this image uh, i don't know how strong it is in, in general we only have like um, you know 40 45 minutes of or um, 15 you know 20 minutes of, of data here um, but uh, the um, uh, you know looking for uh, coming back in and then like you know where do those buyers start to come back in uh, and and you start to see that in here. It's a bit, it's a bit high to put that risk on at this point. I mean, maybe uh, you can if if you kind of zoom in here, you can kind of see it that uh, uh, there is a nice little kind of trap in here of uh, some uh, some sellers in here, and and there's not a whole lot of buying back up above though. Uh, and uh, it's up in here where it looks better uh, for this to continue on up to at least the top of the range or you know some of these areas of liquidity up above. Um, so I just wanted to. Um, use use this image to if you guys are struggling with like um, uh, uh, over analysis, uh, start to just you know focus on a few things that you know really well, um, and uh, it, it might be what I mentioned. It might be something else, uh, and and that would be my um, my feedback on uh, this image. Uh, let's see here. Um, there's another one here. Okay, uh, and, um, and 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 in this one here, like uh, uh, one of the things that I, I was going to recommend in here uh, was some of this, like you know, potentially too low, you know, too high, um, a type of stuff. Like that's good. Um, I don't I don't think it's 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 necessarily helping though. Knowing that it's just too low, it's like we've we've got book map, so let let's let the the order flow tell us that it's too low and that that'll come in with the order book 
uh, you know, if they're going to bid underneath here and we start to find buyers and they're pulling on the offer, yeah, that is too low. The, the auction process is telling us that it's too low. Just identifying that it might be too low um, is, is a start. Uh, where, where we get more into the detail would be like um, understanding that, ooh, you know, look, they just pulled it away from that area. Uh, and in fact, these are the traders that, you know, in the trap that you potentially want to trade with because it is too low. And others are telling you that. Uh, well, when they get when they get through this area and then they're up here, you have kind of a flip of the book on the offer to the bid found, found buyers look for the, the move higher. You know, it, it's not really that great. I don't know what's on the left hand side here, but uh, uh, here I, I, I can see the buyers start to come in. Right. Uh, and uh, in the move higher here. Uh, so uh, uh, that that was all. Um, and uh, I, I wanted to cover, though, a, a few points in here on, on that. Um, it's the same with VWAP and, and or um, VPOC or, or whatever it is like, uh, um, you know, prove, prove it like that, or let the order for, let the order flow prove it um, in the auction process. Just because it's a, a, a v, VPOC, who cares? Like, you know, let the behavior here in the order flow prove that, yeah, this, this is like a magnet for price, uh, that it's happy in this little area in here. It's going to chop back and forth here until we have some sort of imbalance uh, uh, to, um, uh, you know, show us, show us the, the, the way here. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, that, that was all, uh, Stephen. And, and you're muted in here, but I, I think you have, uh, you can uh, unmute yourself if you have any uh, follow-up questions on that. and you don't have to <laughs> um okay yeah your focus was a little too set up focused uh realized that you had to simplify yeah so absolutely but the process i mean you're doing tremendous amount of work uh that that's uh it, it's fantastic so what i i mean like i just don't want to take people down the road here of doing too much work um and spinning their wheels like we need to get traction with the work um, and that's kind of um my, my point in here um all right so let me uh, let me go on to another one here uh rubicon trader uh so uh uh you know also uh, there's a lot of stuff in here uh and um yeah you were spinning your wheels okay uh so there's a lot of stuff in here uh and um uh the um uh you know, again, looking here for um, uh, reversal and your, your trade thesis, um, but you're reasoning it through. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can you can see it in here and you can see your trade um, uh, short in here. Uh, and then, uh, you know, looking at the bottom of this range in here and, and taking it. Uh, and there's still more selling pressure. And this is a pullback in here. In fact, this is a low volume pullback. Uh, this is still accepting outside this range. Uh, and you can still be in this, and it looks like you you were you follow you tr you trailed or stop uh, until uh, you, it hit your profit down here. It, it's beautiful, you know. It's beautiful how you handled that. Uh, I, I really I really like it. So you you've got your um, uh, your reasoning behind uh, why this is uh, uh, going down here uh, into these areas here, uh, and it, you you even mentioned it in here a potential ad, which is which is just great. Uh, so. Um, uh, yeah, really, really nice stuff in here, uh, and uh, that's that's my that's what I got here for for comments. Um, the um, let's see, uh, didn't matter uh, or don't matter. Um, the uh, I wanted to cover two things in here, uh, and it, we'll go through it kind of quickly. Just these are really you know, again, I like the simplicity uh, and clarity. Uh, you know, moving up out of side of balance area. Uh, and then uh, you have your consolidation here and then your breakout uh, here. Uh, and then, um, you know, you're, you're wondering about um, uh, shorting or is this going to be continuation? So what I kind of wanted to cover in here is actually, uh, let, me, let me take a look at the second image. Uh, because this is, um, uh, you're, you're looking for um, a, uh, know, let me see if I'm getting confused here. This was um, uh, trading it back into the range right outside of the range back into so here you're trading back in whereas here you were you this was outside inside out 
Uh, and uh, one of the one of the things to to look for on the inside out uh, is a lot of volume, uh, pulling it up uh, into into some of these areas in here. Uh, so in here, like aggressive short, I'm not I'm not sure, um, and you, you aren't sure either. Uh, in here for a counter rotational uh, area. Now this would have to be kind of a higher time frame in here uh, to take a look at, uh, and then uh, you'd look for the order flow in here to to show some weakness. Uh, and uh, but but you know right now we can see that uh, it's buyers, uh, and they do trade into this liquidity, which does absorb it at this point. I'm not sure what happened up here. Uh, anyway, from uh, what I wanted to cover in this was very very simple. Um, uh, uh, ideas here about trading from the inside out what you're looking for and then also trading from the outside in and what you're looking for okay so you're talking about your you know initial balance failure uh, and then trading back into areas here you've got your your um, uh, you know um, a VPOC here uh, and uh, you're looking at it to come back into some of these areas uh, and rightfully so. Now, my my question to to you would be like, well, what about some of the liquidity up here? Uh, what about some of the order flow that you saw? Did it help you give that insight uh, as well? The, the, use these things to your edge uh, within within Bookmap, within the um, you know the order book and and the um, uh, uh, the volume uh, and and structure breaks as well, right? So uh, I, I really like. Um, the way that you you've got um, your kind of structures, uh, you know, because market structure is so important. Uh, you mentioned it in this this image here, and you also mentioned it in this image here. Uh, so uh, uh, really really nice there, um, looking at that kind of a bigger picture of the structure, uh, and then looking for the nuances within that uh, in the order flow to give you an edge. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's what I got here, and that's not it. Uh, I do have one more, and I wanted to cover this uh, on John, uh, John R. Uh, he, um, he put a video together uh, and, uh, and, and started to talk through his trades in here. You know, so, a big sell-off. You know, he's, uh, uh, this is, a, a, a lot of you guys have been doing this, and it's great. Um, video content is, I know Rob has been doing this as well. Uh, video content is a great way to kind of uh, prove it to yourself and talk through it. Uh, and then you're making it an objective by first off having to talk about it. Uh, and then secondly, you're putting it out there uh, on YouTube. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, what you know what people are saying, you only got five views on it, but who cares? You know, use use YouTube uh, as this as a tool for yourself. Uh, the uh, one of the things I brought this up for uh, is the format here. So video is great if you want to use it. I, I just have to mention something in here. We cannot uh, give you too much feedback on this. Um, if you are interested in, in um, uh, using video, this is what I, I need to get from you then. I need a clip. Okay, so use this feature down here. Ooh, Click on it. Sort of and then uh, you're gonna, you one. can make a little clip um, in here, right? Uh, and what I'm looking for is like yeah, an hour, hour, I'm sorry, like a minute uh, only. Use... So if you can find an area of one minute um, of, uh, uh, you know, I good data in here, rep. then give it a title, yeah, sort of kind right? Of as a target. So if, you know, if we go out to, let's have a look at uh, And then share the clip. Here. Okay. Yeah, and then this is, this is what to put in your spreadsheet here. Deviation move from All right. App. And then, uh, and then put that into your spreadsheet. Uh, so, in fact, I, I want to show the uh, the spreadsheet, uh, and uh, for for anyone who um, uh, has any questions about that, so filling this in, uh, this is what you're going to get when you uh, sign up for for Bookmap. Uh, is you have samples in here of um, uh, you know different traders uh, that that sample or um, put in the link here, and you're going to be doing exactly the same thing. Uh, and uh, and then here is your tab here. So this is for you know the end of this is this month is ending. Uh, it, this is for September. Uh, and just make a new tab uh, and just just copy this one, duplicate it, right? Uh, and then uh, uh, then then name it here. Um, and we'll just name it uh, uh, instead of uh, you know uh, nine. We'll put in ten. Done. And then uh, you can move it over here and then start filling this one in. 
right? And then for that video clip, uh, you, this is where you'll put it here. So, and you'll just say this is, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, video on, um, I don't know, let's say, uh, you know, order book uh, in, in balance. Uh, and then you put the date in here, right? That's it. Uh, and then, uh, so we have a clip of one minute and we can give you good feedback on that. You know, he, here we have an hour, over an hour long video. We're not going to watch it. <laughs> so we just, I wish I could, but we can't, right? I just wanted to cover that. Um, let's see. Uh, what else was on the agenda? I think, I think that was it. Uh, and uh, did, did you guys have any, any questions? I wanted to open this up for, for Q&A uh, in here. No? Uh, one, one more thing I can do uh, in here, right, is uh, uh, I want to show some uh, uh, other, like, samples. Like, Froth's uh, example was really good. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that's, that's um, it's handwritten. The production of it is not so great. Uh, but it's very, very clear. Uh, and, uh, you know, as you know, we really liked it. Uh, but uh, what I wanted to show in here was um, there's two traders in particular, Jack as well. I mean, um, it, you know, excellent uh, imagery and documentation. Uh, I wanted to show, um, let's see. Uh, no, no. Um, hold on. Where is, uh, here we go. Okay, look at look at stands. I mean, really simple, right? Uh, and uh, he's he's only he's he's got a. F I'm not saying you know put in just a few. You can go overboard and put in many uh, callouts and things, but just try to clarify them and simplify them for yourself. Uh, and then he he's showing like where he he's what he's looking at. He's mocking it up on the chart, uh, and then he's putting in entries and exits, etc. His target, you know, in in these areas down here. But he has his reasons why. He's using this to build himself out his own trading plan. Right. This is excellent. Uh, and uh, I mean, I think the one to uphold the most uh, is uh, is slow down. Uh, his images are are really really like, you know, kind of art, artistic works here. Um, and you see, I know I just passed some for today, but you had another one in here that was just so good. Um, or you had many in here. And they're just so good. Uh, look, look at these, look at these, uh, uh, you know, areas in here. Um, uh, he's got, uh, you, I'm not asking for people to do this, uh, but I am asking to, uh, you know, use this as an example, uh, and uh, because it, it's really good. Um, uh, he's he's got he's following Wyckoff. He's building out his trading plan. He has his reasons for getting involved into a trade, and here's what he's looking for in general. He knows this in his mind. I'm looking for this. When it presents, he is prepared. He takes the trade. He takes some off at his first target. He holds. He gets a pullback. He's looking for his next target. And he's actively managing it. This is the way to go. This is how to use this Bookmap Academy uh, and, uh, uh, you know, build out a trading plan and become a better trader for yourself. So on that, that example that you just showed, Bruce, um, if you think about that example, guys, and then turn around and go look at the example from Froth earlier today, it's the same pattern upside down. It's the same thing. You know, so that kind of goes back to what we were saying. Annotate things and make sure you have really good notes because you can see these things and you'll start recognizing them very quickly and you'll start seeing these things and be able to trade them really well. That's that's really what's important about the journaling process. Making your notes clear is only going to help you. So yeah. just kind of adding into Bruce's, Bruce's yeah. statement there. <clears throat> yeah, well, well said. So thank you everybody for coming. Unless there's any more questions, let me let me double check again uh because i'd like to just i don't want to take up too much of your time but i want to do more of these uh please give me your feedback did you find this helpful uh what else would you like to see uh in here uh if i'm sorry if we didn't cover your images but like we will we're going to look through them uh we're going to have more coaches uh you know next time uh slowdown is going to uh, go through some imagery uh for you guys as well and give his feedback uh so um, 
you know, this is uh, uh, the approach that we're taking and uh, with this Bookmap Academy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Okay. No, no questions. Uh, thank you, Stephen. And all right. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Uh, it is recorded. Uh, I'll put it up on the um, uh, or a link, I guess. Here, I'll figure out how to record and put this up. <laughs> Uh, and uh, and take it from there. But thanks for coming, everybody. Thank you, Jack, uh, for your uh, for your coaching, uh, and uh, thank you, everybody, for all of your images uh, in here and your your content. Uh, I think we got a good thing going here, all right? So uh, we'll meet and uh, again, but adjourn for now. Thanks. Okay.